That's right. Chip and Dale. Chip, Chip and Dale. This is Chip and Dale's Rescue Ranger. Oh, no. This is Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers 2. Oh, no. This is Chip and Dale's Chip and Dale Rescue Ranger. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers 2. No. Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers 3. Made by Capcom in 1995. It's a rare game. And, uh, yeah, this is the follow-up. Now you guys know that the first Chippendale Rescue Ranger, obviously, was a classic that everybody played. You know, there's, like, DuckTales and Rescue Rangers, Tailspin, all that stuff. Tailspin, by the way, what a fantastic game right there. It's another Tailspin. So, yeah, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Then, of course, Chippendale's Rescue Rangers 2 for NES, which, like I said, you know, rare game. Very rare NES game, but good. I think it's available on that, um... Disney Afternoon collection, you know, that you can download on Steam there. But then, uh, even rarer than Chippendale's Rescue Rangers 2 is this game. Chippendale's, uh, it's not, actually not Rescue Ranger, but it's Chippendale 3, uh, Vietnam. This is, this is their, uh, this is their voyage now out to, uh, out to Vietnam and to, uh, to kill as many people as they possibly can. Kind of, you know, like, sort of like Rambo 2. That kind of thing. Uh, Chip and Dale uh, back at their murdering game, you know, that they're, that they're into. Chip and Dale meet a car warriors. That's right. Okay, so you guys know already I've been fucking around. But, uh, yeah, this is Chip and Dale 3 Vietnam. This is an, on an actual cartridge uh, that I actually picked up today. Um, so, yeah, and actually you can even see right there. You've got a you got a hand grenade because the number one think of, thing I think of when I think of Chip and Dale is hand grenades. <laughs> Tis dog says kill 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 and, and Dale kill 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 and Dale. That's right. What's up, Jugs McBulge? Jugs McBulge is here, guys. <laughs> Gray old extreme. That's right. Ever notice that Chip looks like Indiana Jones and Dale looks like Magnum P.I.? How you doing, uh, the gas man? What's going on, Jerome Morrow? We'll get the game started in one second. Let's see. Chip and Dale boogies down. How you doing, Epcot Pizza? Um, Phoenix... To F2B says, what the hell is this? Uh, I just explained it, but basically, there was Chippendale's Rescue Rangers on NES, the first game made by Capcom. Then there was the sequel, which is Rare, uh, which was made uh, also by Capcom, you know, Rare NES game. And this, then this is the even rare, much more rare even than the second one, Chippendale's Rescue Rangers 3 uh, for NES. Very, very rare game. Um, one of the rarest games in my collection. And yeah, uh, this is, uh, they, they didn't, uh, they only released a few copies of it because um, I think a lot of people may, might have taken offense to it, or I don't know, it was, I, I think it was just too, a little too violent for a Disney kids game, so yeah, so I was able to obtain a copy. Um, yeah. Yes, and then Eat My Steel, there, yes, there's uh, Chippendale 4, Revenge in Blood. Thanks Kyle Hummel 1 for subscribing. All right, we're gonna get this started. And what was that? Uh, Nick Vic 413 says, "This is real. It is real. We're doing it right now, and it's gonna be amazing." Favorite Mouser Size song? Uh, you know my favorite Mouser Size song. The Bugle Boys, greatest hits. Gotta get the mon money. Uncle Scrooge's money. So, <laughs> Jerome, fuck it, we'll do it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. We'll do it live. <laughs> uh, it's funny. G game Sack says, I wonder who told you about this game. <laughs> um, he actually did uh, a few weeks ago, which is really funny and coincidental because I happened to see it at a store today. Um, and I was like, oh, my God. He was just telling me about this like a week ago. So anyhow. All right. Let's get this started. I have not played this before. And. 
Nine Nine Ten do has says he has twelve copies of this game. That's amazing because as far as I know, only like seventeen of them or something were made. So if you have twelve copies, that means I have I have the thirteenth copy, and then there's only a couple other copies out there. So pretty that's pretty crazy that you have twelve of them. All right, uh, yeah, we're doing it live. Let's get it started. Enough tomfoolery here. Chippendale. Go to war. Destroy enemies underground with artillery base. Okay, I've really never played this before, so let's see. <laughs> Okay, so there is no holding down. <laughs> There's no holding down the uh, the button. What is this in the bottom right? Is that, that is knife? Like, let's see if I hit start, just pause, selects nothing. It's sort of like it's scrolling screen. Oh no, it sort of scrolls with me as I walk. Oh no! Oh no no no! Oh, I got a key though. I got a key. What's this? For a moment, I thought this was gonna be heavy barrel on NES. Like just a, you know, a port or something. But this is actually, I don't know what this is. This is this is an original. Again, I don't know what game this would be. If this is actually made off of something, let me know, guys, because I'm not totally recognizing it here. Uh, Heavy Barrel would have been my guess, but oh no! Oh, spread! Fuck yeah, spread! Fucking chip has fucking spread, man. It looks like Heavy Barrel for NES. It doesn't it, but it, I don't know. Maybe. It looks a little different to me. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Uh, it seems to work. It's, it's, it, it is the same as Heavy Barrel? Okay. I thought, it, I thought it was a little different, but maybe not. Oh god, what am I throwing here? Yeah, so those, those lazy game designers at, at Capcom, um, and back in 1995, you know what's crazy about it? The, the NES, they weren't even really making games at that point for the NES. You know, Wario's Woods was, um, people are going to think that I'm serious, I'm going to get myself in trouble. Uh, <laughs> Wario's Woods was uh, 1994, so it's amazing that they did this in 1995, right guys? I gotta I got watch it with that kind of stuff, because then, then I'm gonna get emails from people saying, Mike, you know that the game wasn't really real, right? <laughs> oh my god. I just like, I just like that it's a chip. Heavy Barrel was your favorite as a kid. I can't hear the title Wario's Woods without, Wario's Wood without cra cracking up. Uh, veteran gamer says, "Hey, Mike, quite funny to see you playing this. I've been going through Vietnam crazy. I was not expecting Chip and Dale were drafted. <laughs> it's, yes, Chip and Dale drafted. All right, let's see. That's right. By the way, you collect the keys to open. I remember that now. And I guess my the weapons only last uh, so long in this." Like, cause I had spread, but it only lasted like a second. And I'm calling spread. I don't care. It's spread. As far as I'm concerned. Boom. Oh shit. Dale's down. Dale's down. Yeah. Is this a door or is this like? <laughs> it doesn't even look. Oh my god. <sighs> Is this Chip and Contra? How's it going, Max Cat? How is this not real? He's playing it, therefore it's real. It's not theoretical, says Tread322. It's very true. Very true. Now we're getting uh, existential, theoretical. Shit. Existential! Bossa Nova! Wow. Uh, Epcot Pizza says, is any of this real? Hang on, am I just dead? Oh god. No, there is a continue. Let me continue, okay. Is any of this real? So, a lot of people are wondering, is this real? 
as uh, as somebody in the chat just said, if I'm playing it, how can it not be real? Right? You understand? I'm playing it, so it's obviously real. Uh, Epcot Pizza says, are you real, Mike? Now, that's a better question, because I actually, uh, I'm, I'm real between the hours of, uh, when the moon is out. Thanks, uh, Cursed Dace for subscribing with Twitch Prime. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you can sub to me for free. For free. Look at all these keys I'm getting. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, wait, can I get that? Yeah, I can get it. Let's open this up, too. Yeah, what do you think you're gonna do? I wish the actual Chip and Dale music would come on. Sometimes some crimes go slipping through those cracks. Hey, Super Jeff. Are you at too many games? Magic Mike is as real as it gets. Ah ha ha ha, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, talking about magic mic there was uh oh look at this look at this fuck look at this fucking chip go speaking of chip and dale right then there's magic mic it's going which night energy's high tonight i do a veteran gamer mike is a figment of my imagination a figment of your imagination speaking of figment i just got a new figment statue from a friend, which is very cool. Speaking of, I'm allowed to I'm allowed to talk about Disney guys in this stream. You can't you can't give me shit because we got Chip Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers. Boom! 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 We can talk about as much Disney as we want this time. I want them to make a fucking really violent Donald Duck game. You know what would have been awesome, actually, is if in that Grand Theft Auto, uh, the Grand Theft Auto mods, where's Donald Duck? Come on. They had Mickey Mouse. They need Scrooge. That's what I say. I love that he has this, like, fucking atomic blast. The last boss should be, uh, fucking Fat Cat. Uh, J Rock says, What's the worst NES game you've ever played, Mike? At Mike Matei. Um. There's certain ones that really piss me off. Uh, I remember, um, Back to the Future 2 and 3 really pisses me off. Friday the 13th really pisses me off. Um. Shit, yeah, it's big old. Um. Oh my god. Wow. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god. Shit, 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 shit. Why is this harder than it should be? Thanks, Alraz, for subbing. There we go, there we go. Did I just do it? Look at me tool. It's like the thing that flies above you in uh, F Zero. What am I supposed to do right here? Oh, it's still moving? Okay, I was like, what the fuck's going on? Few games are better than DuckTales. DuckTales is pretty damn good. Oh, we're going in. Going in, ship. Yeah, look at that, look at that jump! Look at that fucking jump! Badass! Boom! Minecart from fucking Temple of Doom here. Now, Heavy Barrel is not a game you really see people do um, too many uh, too many mods of. It's usually like it's almost always like Mega Man 2 or Castlevania. But it's actually kind of cool to see somebody using another game to do do a mod. 
think there should be more of that. So actually, you know, this is, this is the kind of thing I like to see. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm joking around a lot about this, but you know, they're they're making they're taking a game that's you know not bad, and they're uh, you know putting you know it's got it's got some humor to it. I like I like that. You know, I'm being I'm being serious about it for a second. I think I think it's pretty fucking funny. I think they, they should do, people should do more shit like this. You know, let's take um, what's a, what's a relatively good game that people don't you know uh, do hacks of that much. I'm trying to think uh, like I'm trying to think of a pretty good one. Maybe like Solomon's Key. That's a pretty good game. I don't see anybody doing any hacks of that. Take that and turn it into fucking. Saved by the bell or something. Thanks to Laser Explosion. He says, I think more effect was spent on that cover art than this ROM hack. Hmm. Wonder where that cover art came from. Kung Fu. Yeah, Kung Fu. Kung Fu would be a good one. Um, although I, I have seen some hacks of Kung Fu. I did, I did a uh, Kung Fu hack with, of uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. And uh, speaking of that, I don't know if you guys caught my live stream the other day of um, the Game Boy Advance He-Man game. That game was a steaming pile of goat shit. Kung Fu would be easy to do because of the small amount of code. Yeah, check out, uh, if you guys want to see a Kung Fu hack, that's pretty funny. Check out my He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Just go on YouTube, type in Mike Matei, He-Man, Kung Fu, you'll find it. And that is, uh, that was actually, you know, it was fun. And they did, they did a good job with that hack. Alright, here we go. Dude, dude. Shit. Yep, you can do better than this. Shit! It's like off screen completely. Come on. Come on! Come on, you piece of shit! You can just do this. You can't even fucking fire that way? Really? That's stupid. <laughs> That's like so dumb. Hey, thanks, uh, that a hippo for subbing with Twitch Prime. Whoa! If you guys got Amazon Prime, come over and sub for free. Shameless self promotions are great, aren't they, guys? Mike should do Goof, Goof Troop. Yes. I didn't watch a ton of Goof Troop. I, I was a, more of a fan of the old um, Goofy cartoons. I didn't watch a ton of Goof Troop. The, the mother on that show like freaked me out. Something about it just like creeped me out. And I just I had a hard time watching it because of her. To be honest with you, I liked Goofy and I liked Max. It was just that fucking mom. I was like, Jesus God. Something wrong, something wrong there. <laughs> I think it was her haircut. <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> there should, why isn't there a game? Why isn't there... Epcot Peaches says, There should be a hack featuring Snagglepuss. I could not agree more with that. What game... What would be a good NES game to turn... To make into like a Snagglepuss game? Because there was a... There was Wacky Races on the NES. And I don't know if Snagglepuss was in that. I know it was, uh, what, like Penelope Pit Stop or whatever the fuck. There'd be, some, there'd be something good. Yeah, Sna yeah, Snagglepuss and Yogi Bear Contra. Well, yeah, maybe it could be Snagglepuss and Contra. <laughs> yeah. Every, every game. <laughs> Krusty's fun hat. Krusty's Funhouse. Of all things, Kru somebody says Krusty's Funhouse. <laughs> Wait, what? Krusty's Funhouse. Snagglepuss's Funhouse. Snap. Ice Climbers. There you go. How about that? Turn Ice Climbers into Snagglepuss with, uh... Who could be in there with Snagglepuss? Huckleberry Hound? No. How about, um... How about Mr. Jinx from Pixie and Dixie? There you go. It's another Hanna-Barbera creation. What was his thing? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, I hate Mises to pieces! 
can't really do that, but... Maniac Mansion? Ma Maniac Mansion actually might make a good, uh, Snagglepuss game. This game's weird. What? Fucking Chip, Chip and Dale? You think Chip and Dale Vietnam is weird? Not as weird as, um, fucking Snagglepuss in Contra. I'm in the jungle even! Whoa. Shit. Oh no, oh no, oh no! God damn it. So you get three continues? Son of a bitch. Is there any code for this game? Anybody know? Are there any codes for Chippendale 3? Shit. Chippendale even! Snagglepuss out of a hacked Custer's Revenge. Disney Mario Kart. How you doing, Brisbee? What's up, New Wave Junkie? All right, I'm gonna try this again. If anybody knows if there's, is there like an ABBA or anything? Try the Contra code on, in this game? Okay, sure. Up, up, down, down, up, right, up, right. I don't think that's gonna work. Sometimes. So I'm gonna try this again. Hopefully, I don't know if there's an ABBA or some sort of equivalent. I should actually look up if there are heavy barrel codes. If anybody wants to look up the heavy barrel codes and let me know. I hope it's not something you gotta do from the beginning. It might be. Hell, Mario Kart hack with Hanna-Barbera characters added in. That would be cool. Oppressor Fesser. Oppressor Fesser! Super Peewee Bros. <laughs> the Legend of Snaggle... Yeet Zelda! A Zelda Snagglepuss game? That would be fucking aw awful. Awful. Awesome and awful. Tingle. Tingle meets Snagglepuss. <laughs> Legend of Zelda. Legend of Snagglepuss. Well, excuse me! Even. God. I almost beat Roger Rabbit tonight for NES, and then I lost. Flippin'? Then you just you lost. Ooh, look at this! Look at this shit. Yeah. This is this is what you want. If this ROM hack is based on the Famicom version of Heavy Barrel, then there are cheat codes to select level. Otherwise, there's no codes. Okay, well, let me know the uh, select level thing. Maybe I can get back to where it was. It might be the Famicom version. I don't know. I mean, um, it's Rescue Rangers 3. Okay. Poor little chip here. He he's in Vietnam. Thanks, Brian Walker, for... Cheers. I will get to R-Type. I have... Yes. I'm gonna do a different version than the Super Nintendo version. It is totally a legit, legit game. It's amazing. Okay, enter this on the title screen. We have level 2. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try this. I need another controller to do that. Hang on a second. Woo! Let's see if we can do codes. Is there a way to get to more than the second level? Is there a way to get to level three or anything? Let's see if I can do this. So. Oh, shit. Okay, that did work. I just did a code. Cool. Okay, well, I think I was on level four. What's the... Is there a level four code? Shit, hang on. I want the level four code. That's where I was. I'm pretty sure. If it, I'm, su I'm surprised it actually worked. I'll just do the level three code. Let me see if I was on this one. I think I think I was here. I'm gonna. I'm just. I'll just play from here. 
that's cool. I'm glad I can pick up from where, basically where I was. This is, this is close enough. I'm happy with this. Thank you, duo. All right, we are back. We are back. I am back. That was the worst Schwarzenegger impression ever done by anyone. And it's not even that hard of an impression. I am back. <laughs> Let's just all do terrible all Schwarzenegger impressions. I guess they're all terrible anyway, but extremely terrible. We do Stallone as a... Uh... <laughs> do, do Schwarzenegger quotes as Stallone. That's, that's my Stallone. It just gets more. It started off with like, you know, Yo Adrian! Something more like that. But it's it's now progressed over time to I think it's a lot more accurate now. I'm I'm getting better at it. Um See, you start off with this Stallone impression, it's just like I am the law. Something like that. After a couple months of doing Stallone, it's that's, that's the point I'm at now. I like the... <laughs> my favorite part of streaming and doing stupid shit like this is thinking about the people who just joined at that moment. That's always been my favorite thing. Somebody's like, oh, I'm gonna tune in to watch uh, Mike play uh, Chip, and, Chip and Dale in Vietnam. Let's see what he's up to. They tune, they tune in, they see Chip and Dale, and I'm just going... Really professional live streams we got going on over here. Look, look, look at this cheapness. Look at this shit. Look, this is the stupidest thing I've ever. Is the actual game like this, or is this just because it's fucking Chip and Dale, or is or is Chip just a fucking genius? I think Chip's a genius. All that time he's spending with Gadget, he's, he's figuring out all the all the, the ways and whys and woos. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Yes, this game. Yes, Heavy Barrel is exactly like this. Yes, it is. You picked a bad stream to fall asleep to. <laughs> a bad stream to fall asleep to. Yeah, I did beat this actually. So if I if I come back to this, I say, Chip and Dale get heavy with Heavy Barrel. It sounds like that would be like the commercial if this game had a commercial. Chip and Dale get heavy with Heavy Barrel. In Chippendale's Rescue Rangers 3 Vietnam 4 NES, get it now! Now you're playing with power. <laughs> if Macho Man Randy Savage was doing a commercial, why not? Why not? I would buy it. And you would all buy it too. You know you would. To the extreme, to the max, to the bridge! <laughs> blow this fucking thing up or what? Boom! Boom! Some times, some crimes. Nikki Fox, she'd buy it. Nikki Fox would buy it. It almost sounded like James Big Craig's commercial. That did sound a little, that was unintentional, but that definitely sounded a little like it, huh? Mr. Mr. Riggs. Oh yeah! Or could be the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, give me it. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, you motherfucker. Don't tell me when I shoot you. Fuck these guys up. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm gonna fucking not make it through this level again. Yeah, I totally beat this one. What am I doing? This is where the, uh, so I was on, I was definitely on the next level. Oh my god. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Die, motherfucker, die. There we go. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give me some good shit. Give me that good shit. There we go. Come on. Where's the helicopter? All right, here we go. Fuck this guy. Fuck him. Fuck him in his ear. Fuck him in his ear! 
Fuck it. Fuck it, I'll do it live. Oh, boom. Boom. This music sounds like shit. Get all. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, am I gonna even make it through this? God damn it! It's like being in war. Come on, Chip. Donald Duck should be the last boss in this, by the way. You guys remember all those old Chip and Dale Donald Duck shorts? Boom, blow it up, motherfucker. Yeah, in that hole. All right, so this is the next level. So, when I die, I'll get the code for this level. Disney would never approve of this game now. That's true. But back in 1995, they were approving this shit all day. Mm hmm Oh yeah, they were. That's when, all, that's when all the great NES games came out. Around, you know, 1997, 1998. Yeah, those were, those were the good, that was the good era of, of NES. Look at how much false information can I spread in the stream. Those were the days. I just got to the point where I just, people were like, is this, is this game real? Yes. Yes. It's fucking, it's so real. True Donald should be the last boss. He should be. I remember Master Size in the morning. <laughs> Apparently the Nintendo Seal of Quality... Wait, what's that? I don't see that come. Hang on. Apparently the Nintendo Seal of Quality was actually wide oval. Uh-huh. What, are, are you complaining because I, because I stretched the image? Hang on. <laughs> Here. Is, is that what this comment is? You want the box to be more like this? <laughs> God. <laughs> we're getting, we're getting, uh, stretched, stressed, stretched NES box in my stream complaints now. And Scrooge has a pool, pool full of ice cream? What are, what, are we, what are we talking about here? About Scrooge and his pool of ice cream. Uh, what did I miss in the chat here? Oh my god, look at, look at this situation. I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. Oh, Lord Pubius. Lord, Pu Lord Pubius is here? Lord Pubius! You know who I haven't seen in a long time in the chats? You guys know who, right? Oh! When Snagglepuss rolls around. Now we're getting really goofy. Hey, Maxie! This music definitely sounds like something out of um, that one part, like uh, Akari Warriors. Can I blow this shit up? I don't think I can even blow that shit up. Are they shooting hairballs at me? Atomic hairballs. Bow down to thy Lord Pubius! Has nobody gift subbed Lord Pubius? I mean, it's Lord Pubius after all. Jeez. I'm just kidding. But I mean, really. <laughs> oh shit, oh my god. Those are nuke pubes, Mike? <laughs> Pubes, Mike. I was talking about fuck, that Fuck Tales movie where Scrooge has a pool full of ice cream. A sea monster ate my ice cream! A sea monster ate my ice cream! That was not the movie, that was an episode. It was a five part episode, if that's what you're talking about. Or no, you, you know what? No, you're right. DuckTales, the movie, Treasure of the Lost Lamp. They make a wish, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, the ice cream falls from the ceiling. You're right. Ha! Thanks, Witch Knight. Lord Bubius is now subbed! <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. 
And thank you so much, uh, Retrocore9, for subbing. You guys have Amazon Prime. Come on over, sub for free. Shit, look, this is getting hard now. Are these submarines? Yeah, fuck, imagine Chip, like, in this situation. You know how fucked Chip would be? He's just a, he's just a chipmunk. His day is, like, going around getting acorns and shit. And now he's got, and now he's got to be, like, fucking saving the United States from fucking Cobra Commander over here and shit. Like, what the fuck? What happened to Chip's life? He should have just stayed in the forest. Oh, shit, run, Chip, run. Look at those legs go. <laughs> look at the legs. Look at the legs. Look at the legs. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you know what? Actually, I like his smile. Look at his little smile. <laughs> He traded in his acorns for grenades. That's right. Oh my god, shit, 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 shit. This definitely looks like parts in Akari Warriors, though. I know, I know it's Heavy Barrel, but I'm just saying. I guess parts in Heavy Barrel look like parts in Akari Warriors. Might as well. It's all the same shit. All the same shit. Mike's Mickey laugh. How you doing, Shishi on Twitch? The old man hates beef. Somehow Mike does better without a power up. Ooh, fuck! Or not. Or not! Shit, 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 shit. Oh my god. The fuck? Look, it's just like running me over. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I bet it can't get me if I'm like standing right there. Oh, but I also can't get him. I'm gonna like weave in and out here. I know, I know how to do it now. Thanks, Nikki Fog, for subbing Triple Deuce. Tri triple deuce. Oh, fuck. If he gets that close, it's a problem, though. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Boom! Boom, motherfucker! What level am I on? I'm getting low on my eyes. I'm, like, I'm probably gonna have to do that code again. Coming up. Open the door. Open the door. Total carnage. Oh, I'm still going? I thought it was fucking flash. I thought it was dead. Poor chip. That part right there sounds like the Akari Warriors music. I don't care. Shit. Open up, open up. Give me some, like, good items already. Jesus Christ. Oh, I need this, I need this, I need this. Oh! Wow, like, where, when am I gonna get the... Oh, look at this, look at this. Here we go. That's what I wanted. I want more shit like that. It lasts for like one second though. There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking with fucking gas. Oh shit, now I'm dead. Give me that. What do we got over here? There we go. Oh, that's what I want. Oh my god. Okay, it's getting harder now. Getting hard now. Getting hard now. I'm actually still going here. Fucking A. I might have like a, maybe I have like an unlimited live code drone or something because it, it, like it's been like one player times zero for a while and I'm still going, so I feel like this is I didn't even realize till right now, but I think I have some kind of invincible life thing going on. Maybe. We'll say. I definitely feel like I'm what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Yeah! Oh! Motherfucker! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> this is for Gadget! And this is for Zipper! <laughs> and this is for Monterey Jack! Mm. Yeah! And this is for Chip! <laughs> I mean, that's me! This is for Dale! <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that was an awesome weapon. This is for Fat Cat! <laughs> oh, my God. Boom, boom, boom. The way you throw the grenades at is also kind of like Akari Warriors. 
Mumra's motherfucker, that's right. Motherfucker! Is it soup yet? Whoa, 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 whoa. Was he playing as Chip or Dale? Don't you see the nose? Do you see his nose? It's black. It's black. It's Chip. It's Chip all day. Maybe, maybe I was facing the back. Maybe you couldn't see the nose. Dale has the red nose. Chip has the black nose. <laughs> I forgot to mention that the level cheat code gives you infinite lives also. Oh! It does. We do have infinite lives. Aha. I was thinking the game was getting pretty fucking easy at this point. Mike, what's your top game for each Nintendo system? Oh my god, NES Legend of Zelda, uh, Super Nintendo, Super Mario Kart, um, let's see, Nintendo 64, um, probably Ocarina of the Time, but I'm gonna go maybe, I like, I like Rogue Squadron a lot, maybe Rogue Squadron. Not, that's harder for me to choose. I'll go Rogue Squadron. Uh, da, 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 da. GameCube. I like the Monkey Ball games a lot. I'm gonna go Monkey Ball, me personally. Um, going through the mazes, all that. And the Target's really good too. Let's see, what else do we got? Um, Nintendo Switch. Uh, Donkey Kong, the original game. <laughs> Which was just released. And I don't care, it's on Switch, I'm choosing it. Fuck. And what else? What other console did I miss? I feel like I missed something major here. Virtual Boy. <laughs> um, fucking Waterworld. Why not? Uh, what else? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Didn't I beat this guy already? Or are they just bringing this guy in again? Shit, 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 shit. Oh my god, this guy is... Like, I have intimate lives. I don't even know why I'm, like, bothering. That says a lot about the Switch. Excite Bike 64. Excite Bike 64 is a good one. I agree with that. I don't know if it'd be my top, but it'd be up there. No wonder Chip bothers Donald. Boop, boop. I like his little face. He's very happy. If I were to ever get a tattoo. I think it would be his face right there. Just that little happy face. <laughs> no virtual boy. I've had enough seizures for my life. Um, this, is a, this is a decent game. It's okay. It's pretty fucking hard for, like, if you were actually gonna have to try to actually fucking get through this game. Without this unlimited life shit. Right next to the Fario tattoo. Did I say that? I probably did say that. I could imagine myself getting a Fario tattoo. Which, and that wasn't it. Is this, this looks like Vigo with fucking camouflage. Dude, that's fucking Vigo. I say it's Vigo. Vigo the Carpathian. And Vigo. And how long is it? This has got to be like the last level, right? I love how he jumps in. Only Chip could do that. Only Chip. And Dale. If he was in this. They should really should have added like fucking gadgets and zipper and shit to this. Somebody needs... There needs to be more... What is like the most fucking violent? How, yo, how about Chiller? See, somebody needs to put Chippendale, do Chippendale Chiller. Chippendale Chiller! That's what I want to say. I want to fucking see, I want to see Chip getting Gadget or fucking Zipper or whatever on the fucking, uh... No, it should be, it should be Monterey Jack, like, whipping the Zipper on the fucking door, like, on the wall or whatever, shit like that. Oh my god. Chippendale's Torture Rangers. <laughs> Fucking chiller. Chiller arcade game with Chip and Dale. That's what I want. There's there's your hack idea. Look at this, look at this fucking guy. Look at this fucking asshole. Hey Axel, let me ask you a question, Axel. Oh, is he dead? Shit. I thought that was gonna be like the end guy or something. He was just like nothing. He was nothing. You're nothing to me. I am Chip. 
Chip and Dale Schiller. Chip and Bleed. Monterey ripped Zipper's wings off. Pretty much, that would be what you want. Alright, are we at the end? This is like the end of Jackal. There's a giant fucking thing gonna come. Yup. It's Jackal, guys. It's Jackal. Look at this fucking thing. Oh my god. Oh my god! Wow. Shit. This has gotta be the end of the game, right? Yeah, like, can you imagine? <laughs> I guess you don't have to imagine because we're looking at it, but like, fucking Chip. Poor, poor Chip. You know? Like, this is not a chipmunk's life. No, no chipmunk should ever have to go through this. We'll call it, like, animal cruelty on this shit. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Nick Vic. This is so stupid. Boom, boom. There's definitely like a pattern that I'm not doing. Whatever. It's fucking not even a real game. Oops, I wasn't supposed to say that. It's totally a real game. Ah! <laughs> How many hit? Maybe it's the thing up top. Let's just say it's supposed to be like the fucking. Am I supposed to be doing this? Not really. It's more like the arms, actually. What I thought it was. They even made the cut. They did. They made the cover. Isn't the cover great? They did such. They did such a fucking great job on that cover. So I put in a uh, code for uh, you, you with the second controller. This is ridiculous, by the way. I don't know how they would ever expect you to fucking do this. But um, yeah, with the second controller, you can pick levels, and apparently the the second controller does like an infinite life thing. Look at how many fucking hits this thing takes, though. It's absolutely absurd. Anybody else remember this boss was the turning point for the Vietnam War? <laughs> what is this a mod of what game? It's a mod of, uh, what's it called? Um, Heavy Barrel for NES. When did Cyborg get involved in Nom? When, when, oh, you're asking, Rare DK Donkey Kong Country says, when did, um, when did cyborgs get involved in Nom? Rare DK Country. When did Chip from Chippendale's Rescue Rangers get involved in Nom? How about that? <laughs> Come on. This has turned into anything but Vietnam now. It's just not that it had fucking Chippendale anyway. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. All right, what are we? Is what's happening? Am I, is there is there a point where I can shoot this thing? Even there we go. There we go. Fuck you, motherfucker. Thanks, Murpucks One, for subbing with Twitch Prime. When did Ch when did Chip become a fucking rescue ranger, for that matter? That's a, how. Yeah, what? Like he made it up. He's like, you know what? I'm a fucking rescue ranger now. All right. Congratulations, you accomplished your mission. Dismantle the secret weapon. There you go. Congratulations, you played a shitty game. Chip and Dale with the original A team. Did you beat it already? Yeah. It's I put a fucking it's stupid. It's not a real game. I put a code in. So with um the second controller, it's like if you want to skip to the next level, you do up and right, and then I think hit A. And then on the first controller, you hit start. And then if you want to go to the next level, you hit right, A, and, and then start. I think it is. Skip the levels. Which give you a code. A winner you are! Chippendale's Full Metal Jacket next. If there was Chippendale's Full Metal Jacket, I would play it even! <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. That is the stupidest fucking game ever. Chip and Dale. So that is Chip and Dale 3 for the NES. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I am out of here. Thanks for watching. Exit stage left. Even.